you. Welcome back to Press Why the Jump Scare. And today we have a special guest on the channel. It's my husband, Tony. He may not be special to you, but he's special to me. And we're playing the past within. And we're trying to debate who's going to be the past and who's going to be the future. So, uh, I think I'll take the past, honey. You'll take the future? Sure. Okay, I'll take the past. Do you choose the past? Did the other person choose the future? Did you choose the future? Yes? Tony? Oh. Did you, did you choose the future? Yes. Okay, yes. Can you hear the person in the future? Um... <laughs> Uh, yes, yes I can. Choose between the butterfly or the bee. Make sure the person in the future chooses the same. Hmm. Yeah, what do you want? Choose between the butterfly and the bee. I like butterflies. Okay. So, are you going to choose the bee or are we choosing the same thing is what they're we saying? We have to choose the same. Okay, butterfly. You have chosen the butterfly. Did the other person in the future choose the same? assume yes I am sure you're ready to start but is the person in the future also ready are you yes. ready yes let's make some memories oh I didn't even say what this game is about so apparently this is a co-op game from Rusty Lake uh, and you have to find out some sort of mysteries about this guy I mean like is this like Ab Ab Aberboom or something like that I think he's dead or something let's just find out I sound very sympathetic. <laughs> He's dead or something. The past chapter one. <laughs> we have an envelope and a calculator. All right. Click to interact. Do you see an envelope and a calculator. calculator? Huh? I don't have a calculator. But you have an envelope. I have like a computer. Oh, cool. That's neat. Rusty Lake, January 1926. My dear daughter Rose, if you find this letter, I'm no longer part of this world. See, he is a dead guy. Although there is hope, over the past couple of months, I have been working on a device to establish contact with a trustworthy person in the future. Be aware the room you are in now may be affected by this person. Please open this box first and wait for further instructions. Your loving father, Albert. All right, Dad. Oh. Oh, oh. All right, if you find this letter, please open this box first and await further instructions. Whoops, I did not wait for their instructions. Whoops, now I'm in the settings. How did I get out of this envelope? Okay. For me to, like, zoom out of something, there's a little arrow in the bottom right corner. Okay. For me, I'm still in the letter. And it's telling me to open the box, but I don't know what it's telling. Let's see. Be aware the room you are in now may be affected by this person. Please open this box first and wait further instructions. Okay. I'm trying to get out of this letter. It's really irritating. Maybe just hit escape or did that open up the menu? Yeah, when I hit escape, it opened the menu for me. See. Sorry, I'm looking at the instructions to see if I'm missing anything. <laughs> okay, that was the instructions before. Like, I'm trying to see if there's any, like, I guess the boxes on your right hand side are like um, where we collect items, do you think? Possibly, yeah. I can't click on them or do anything either. Mm -hmm. January 1926? Wait, 
what did it say about a year? 1926, maybe that's the code over in the box. Well, I need to verify access. It says, please submit the year of memory. So I'm assuming that's 1946. Mm hmm Please communicate the following information to the person in the past. So do you have a grid of three by three cubes? Yes, it looks like a box. Yes, so, yeah, exactly. So I don't know if you can select those boxes, but you need the top middle, top right, right middle, bottom right, bottom middle, and then just left middle. Okay, you said top middle, top right box? Yeah, if you could select them, like like a checkbox, like you're filling it in. Uh huh. That's what you're. That's what you're gonna put. Okay, repeat. So the top middle, top right. Top middle, top right. Uh huh. Right middle. Bottom right. Right. Bottom middle. Mm -hmm. Right. Left middle. Sorry, <laughs> you said right middle and. I don't know what you have. I have up at, up at the very top the first three square th uh, the first three squares. I have uh, top middle and then top right and then I'm at the middle now. So, so okay, I guess that's uh, we just need to make sure that we're communicating correctly. So it's a three by three grid. Mm -hmm. Do you want to do it by like rows going left to right, or yeah. do you want to do it by columns? Yes, I I prefer to do it by uh, rows like left okay. to right. So top what? row, you want the last two squares. Yeah, that's what I thought. So the first one's not filled. Yes. The, the middle row, you're going to have the first square selected, the mm -hmm. middle square not selected, mm -hmm. and the last square selected. Mm -hmm. And then on the bottom row, it's the same as the top, so just the last two. Mm -hmm. The first one is not selected. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, the box just opened. I have a book and it's like yellow and like some sort of orange color. Okay, oh, they're, so they're actually the matches. The box is open. The box is open and I got matches. And it's telling me to click the arrow to scroll down to zoom out. My little computer is freaking out. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm going to click to zoom out. What else is your computer doing? Because like now I'm looking That's at it. That's it. That a box of matches fell out. Okay. So you're gonna collect it in your inventory? I collected a little, oh, if you press and hold, you can kind of rotate the camera just a little bit. Oh wait. It's me. I clicked on a picture, I think. Okay. Oh wait, I I'm his daughter. Okay, I'm looking in a mirror. <laughs> that was a picture. Do you have a mirror where you're at in the room? Oh, no. Oh, my God. That's a cube with a whole bunch of crap. Okay. No, it says I got to um, verify the family verification. I got to activate input panel P17 and su submit the correct ping sequence. Submit the correct painting sequence? Okay, let me see if I can find it again, because I'm in a room with, like, some sort of hanging lamp. I looked at myself in the mirror. I'm looking at a bowl on the table here. Okay, so now I have a 2x2 two two grid of different things. Mm -hmm. um, and I can change these photos. So I'm guessing you're going to have um, something that tells me. Oh, the right sequence to put him in. So I'm in a room with a coffin, which I assume is him, maybe. Um, is it a? Do you do you have a picture of a man with like a comb over? No. Okay. Go the fish. The four pictures that I have, it looks. I don't. I'm gonna see if there's only four different combinations. There's not. So the four there's four like I said it's a two by two grid of different pictures. The different pictures are it looks like a dad with a like a, a child, mm. then a bird like I don't know like a raven I guess or a mm -hmm. crow, mm -hmm. a butterfly, 
uh, just like a looks like a child or just like a little doll, mm-hmm. and then a house and a tree. Okay. And that's it. And then they cycle over again. Oh yeah, his name is Albert Vanderboom, and I'm looking at his coffin right now. Okay. Do you see a two by two grid of different photos? Not yet. I'm just. I guess I'm in his viewing room at the moment. Okay. Well, um, like I said, I I realized that you can click and hold and rotate through stuff. Like, I thought it was just a computer screen, but there is apparently it's a it's a cube of things. Um, maybe you're the three D one and I'm the two D one, because my view know. is two D. Okay. Yours is three D. Okay, mine is not. I'm 2D. Which is signature move by a Rusty Lake. They're usually a 2D game. Point and click. Let's see. Down. Ah, here we go. A raven, a butterfly, a tree, a father, and a child. Is that what you have? Well, that's what I need to know. So, what was the first thing? Okay. So you said a two by two square? Yep. All right, first one in the first row is Raven, going from left to right. Okay, and the second one? Butterfly. Okay. Third one is the tree. And then the fourth one should be, uh, you know, the dead guy and his, and his daughter. Yeah. Okay. My thing just did something crazy. Okay. Okay, now I have weird symbols. Weird symbols? I have four symbols that I don't know exactly what they mean. I have a checkerboard. Interesting, and then a mouse just ran over. Oh, hold on. Family access acquired. Communicate the symbol sequence. Warning, the room inside this device may suffer from overheating. Use the three sliders to adjust the gas smoke gas discharge. I have this other box too that has this T symbol. Yeah, so that's the symbols that I have. It looks like a P. It's a line with a circle to the right and then a T. Uh huh. And this is that four by four grid. So top left, it, it's a line with a circle to the right. So it kind of looks like a P. Yeah. And then a, a T. Uh huh. And then the bottom left is a circle, then an S. And then the last one is a line going to a uh, circle. I have something that looks like a pile of rocks or turns or something. What is this? I don't know what this is. It looks like, oh, it's coal. (laughs) Okay. Well, I guess let me know if there's a checkerboard or some sort. <laughs> um, let me see. So I did it. Anything on your end you saw? Uh, no. Okay, well, that was it. All right, so I have a checkerboard in the same room with all the photos I was telling you about. What's this one? Is it a two by two grid? Yeah, it's it's the same one I was telling you about. But in that room is where I found the coal. Like, you told me the symbols. There was a box next to it. Oh. And it was coal. So I guess I need to move forward. Oh, do I need to put the coal inside? Maybe. Holy shit, yes. We're going to use the coal. We're going to use the matches. Are you in the box that I'm on the outside of? That'd be weird. What do you mean? I'm look. Like I said, this is a cube. And then on the little computer screen... After we did that, it said family access acquired. Communicate the symbol sequence. Warning, the room inside this device may suffer from oh. overheating. Yeah, right now I have some sort of furnace thingy. And yeah. it looks like I need to put in some coal. And I have some cold soup. And then I need to light the matches. Okay. Is this for my checkerboard? Hold on. Anything happening on your end? Not yet. Because I have a weird picture. Let me see if I can show you. How, how can you show me the picture? 
take a picture of it and send it to you. Duh. No, don't do that. That's cheating. Is it cheating? Yes. Okay. Sorry. In the puzzle, remember, you gotta figure it out. Like you just said, you have coal. Put it in. If there's a furnace, put it in the furnace. And I just I wanted. I only it... wanted to show you a, the weird picture I got, and I, I'm having a hard time explaining it. And I think it goes with the checkerboard, or something. Uh, well, I'll look at it myself. It's a puzzle, so just do what you can. I probably need pieces, huh? Because all I have is a checkerboard, and that is it. Alright, so I got some sort of weird looking simple thingies. Yeah. Alright, so... Did, I, so did you already like input the 2x2 the two two grid of symbols that I t told you? Yeah, and that's where I got the coal. Okay, okay. Just so I guess I need sure. to move forward. Oh, it's smoky in here. Okay. And I guess it won't stop being smoky. Oh, I have hot soup. Okay, I guess that's cool. Uh, do I need to put the coal back or it's just going to continue? Alright, I guess the hot soup is going to be important in the future. It's very smoky in here now. I hope I don't catch the house on fire. Okay, well that's what I mean. Like, it was talking about doing this gas mixture thing, but uh, it hasn't, like, triggered on my end to give me any indication of what to do. Okay. Um, I have hot soup. Maybe that's part of it. I have... I'm looking at a door with all these pictures on it, and it's really weird. They're like stained glass looking pictures. Okay. Okay, so I guess that's not relevant to you yet. Mm. There's a clock. I have a clock in here. Oh, it's telling you to use some sort of gas mixture, huh? Do I need to light these candles, or do I need to collect more candles? Because I see... I'm looking at a, what do you call it, candelabra or something like that? What do you call it? Uh, possibly. Can you collect the candles? Well, I'm looking at like one of those little candle holder things, right? And I think it's called like a candelabra or something like that. Like a menorah? Like... Well, yeah, but <laughs> it didn't hold a regular candle holder like from Beauty and the Beast. Okay. Um, so right now I have three candles but I'm missing two and I'm wondering how significant that is if I'm gonna need to find candles later or maybe not <sighs> you know what I mean okay. what does this mean I have no idea and it's driving me crazy this pattern here like, you know, like the math grids, not the math grids, what do you call it? Hmm. Interesting. Like some sort of, not a grid. I think maybe you can call it a grid. Uh, I wish I could explain it to you, but I can't. Which is why I was going to send you the photo and show you, but <laughs> it's okay. You told me not to. Okay, what do I do next? Because I am lost. So what does it say on your end again? I'm waiting, I guess, for you to do something to where it's going to manipulate. Or, um, like, you said it's smoky in there. Yeah. gonna light the candles and see what happens yeah I mean I lit the candles nothing happened let's see I can't click on Albert anymore whatever his name is um, let me click on his, it won't let me click on the pictures do you have anything that's like a uh... Line. 
third one down, second line, first one up. I don't know what that means though. I feel... Oh my god, I just guessed on different things and I got a battery. What? What happened? Uh, it, there was these sliders that I was telling you about. A, oh, sliders? That could have been... Yeah. Oh my god, that could have been the clue. I didn't know. Because I had like this weird, like I said, this weird matte looking thing and the first row was the third one down. Not the row. Wait, it was Sorry, the, but the first... third one yeah, well, well, the first column, sorry. The first column was the third spot down. The second column was, like, the first spot up. And then the middle one was the third one down. I don't know. I got, got it somehow. Oh, I was stink. able to put the battery in. And it turned on a little fan. Is it smoky in there anymore? No. Yeah. Well, it is smoky, sorry. Sorry, it's still smoky yeah. in here for me. Never mind. Um, I'm going to photo slide. Because now I have a little fan running. Uh -huh. And it has a 1715. 1715? Yeah. Um, oh. 1715. Ventilation system act uh, activated. Communicate time. Oh, oh, I have a clock. Yeah, put 1715, which would be like 12, uh, 5? 215, or 515, yeah, sorry. Use the three lens, which is to peek inside the room of the person in the back. Okay, hold on. Oh, the fan's working now. Okay, so I have three symbols. Mm -hmm. I have an arrow, a cross, and a line with a circle on the end. Maybe when you do the, the clock. Oh no, his picture fell down. But it has a message. Dear Rose, wear the mask yourself. I got a key. Okay. All right, there is a room with a key. I use it. Okay, I guess I, I guess the key stays here. All right. I have a mask. Alright, sorry about the... what did you say? Oh, so I have... like I said, I have three symbols on like a dial that's around a lens. And I can rotate them, uh, but they can't be in the same position. And I can only kind of rotate them, uh, yeah, independent from each other, obviously. Uh, but it's a arrow, it looks like, depending on how you look at it, a cross or a plus. And then a line going to a circle. Hmm. And then, like I said, it's around something that's a circle. You know what I mean? It's almost like a combination lock. Uh, oh, I'm going to need some scissors of some sort to cut this thing down so I can get this candle. I think the candle's important. Nope, that's not going to work. <laughs> So I put on this snow mask. Achievement behind the mask. Oh, this is going to help me see something important. And did you change the clock? I did. I changed the clock and I, I, I uh, then the fan started blowing, remember? Oh, your fan. Okay. Yeah, my fan started blowing and now it's not smoky. I got a mat. Oh, I also got some sort of, oh yeah, you remember that wake room I told you about with the guy's picture in his coffin uh -huh. his his photo above the coffin fell down i got a key and, he, and it was a message behind the photo that says rose wear this mask 
And so what I did was um, I took the key. There is a drawer in another room. And I put the key in one of the keyholes and I got a mask and I'm wearing a mask and it's changed like my perspective or the way I look at something. Okay. Oh, I see the cross now, right? You said it was an arrow, a cross and something else, right? Yeah, an arrow, a cross and a line going to a circle. Do you need it for something or do I need it for something? I, like I said, I guess to look at or to do what I'm, this current part of my puzzle is i like i said they rotate around a center point and i need to put them in i guess the correct position to kind of move forward so that's what i'm saying if you see an arrow across and a like lollipop? a line thing is it around like a circle it's around of a it's around a circle that's like an eyeball and there's different quadrants oh okay so wh what are you looking at right now what I'm looking at is I'm looking at the eyeball and the eyeball is split yep. into four quadrants. So yep. the the left lower quadrant like looking at uh -huh. looking at the screen your left, you know what I mean? Yes. So it should be the uh, the arrow. That makes it sense. Be the arrow. Okay, yeah. So it does. So but is it Kind of like down into the left, straight down. It's in the middle, if that makes sense. Like right in the middle. I can't move it right to the middle. Right. Between the the quadrants, you mean? Yes, it's right in the middle of the of the of the uh, the left lower quadrant. Like it's if you can imagine a splitting pizza. <laughs> it looks well, kind no, of... no, I know. Well, that's what I'm saying. So yeah, so a quadrant, you split the circle in four, and between. You know, yeah, I get it. You say it's in the middle. Well, a mid the middle of that particular quadrant, though. Like correct. I could, if you could imagine what I'm looking at. That point, that middle point, I can't do. I can either only do like right above it or right below it. That's so weird. Okay. All so, right. Oh. So we know it's down there. We'll have to tweak it. Yeah. Do you see the across and the line with a circle? Yes, the cross and the line with the circle. So it's first the first is the lollipop. I'm gonna call it the lollipop. Sure. Um, it is in the white right lower quadrant, for me. Okay. And the cross is right next to it, also in the right lower quadrant. Um, is the cross above? Like right, like not like right next to it. If you can imagine the lollipop. Well, that's what I'm saying. But it, it, is it like if? Again, if you go 45, you know, because you're coming 45 degrees, right, is the cross to the right of it or to the left of it? To the right of it. Okay. I got it. You got it. Okay, so I'm looking at two panes of glass. Mm-hmm. Um like stained glass. Mm -hmm. This is supposedly what you see. Mm -hmm. Oh, do you want me to tell you what I see? Well, I mean, so you're stained glass. Mm -hmm. I see an eye with a circle. Mm -hmm. That kind of was what you were just describing. Uh, 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 ant or like a deer skull with antlers. Yep, yeah, that's above the whole puzzle thing you're asking me about. Yep, and then to the right, there's uh, it's like a two by three grid of different photos. Yeah. And the top left is a butterfly. Then next to that is like a mountain. Then a dead tree. Then a face. Then a cube. And then a knife. What you're seeing is a mirror image of what I have because the okay, picture of the well, the butterfly and the tree. Mm -hmm. If you can click on those, mm -hmm. are white for me. Yes. Like it... they don't have any color. When I click on them, they go white. Okay, so click the butterfly in the tree only. Ooh, it just switched. The uh, the eyeball grid thingy just switched. Okay, so what did it switch to? You need that, you're saying. I need that, right? All right. It changed the positioning? All right, it changed the positioning. Okay, so the cross is now in the right yep. lower quad, uh, the left lower quadrant, sorry. Okay. And it was it's pretty much in the like same where the arrow was. 
Exactly where the arrow was, yes. Okay. Um, so, uh, let's see. How do you describe this? Okay, so the if you can... The lollipop and the arrow? Yes, the arrow is actually just pointing, like, straight down the middle. Because I know there's, like, perfect. an... Perfect. Huh? Yeah, no, that's perfect. All right, and then the lollipop? The lollipop is um, in the right upper quad... Uh, the right uh, upper quadrant, but it's right in the middle as well. Okay, cool. All right, so now you're going to change the these ones to white. Are you ready? Yeah. So the butterfly is going to be white, the mountain is white, the man or the face is white, and the knife is white. All right, it changed for me again. Okay, tell me what that is. So the left upper quadrant, the arrow was like pointing towards the middle again. It's like towards the middle of the quadrant. White, uh, the right? Upper right, you said? Sorry, the upper left. <laughs> upper left. Yeah. Okay. Um, so lower left is the lollipop, and it's towards the middle as well, like pointing down in the middle. Okay. And then the uh, the cross is like kind of like the hor on, on exactly the horizontal line. Got it. You ready for the new? It's three, three. The butterfly is white. The cube is white, and the knife is white. Ugh. Oh. Okay, so a nail just kind of turned for me. Okay. Do you still need the... Do you need the coordinates again? No, that's, it seems like that's it. Visual contact with the person that passed the cheat. Flip to six switches to correct the position, and then insert the black pins.